Hello, my name's Matt Denton, this is Mantis Hacks, and in this video, I'm gonna be building an XXL Lego seat for my XXL Lego go-kart. I'm building an XXL sized Lego go-kart. It's 3D printed, it's gonna be electric powered with brakes, and it's gonna be big enough for my nephew to ride and hopefully me too. It's based on this kit from Lego from the 1980s. And if you haven't seen what I've done so far, do check out the video links in the description below. Now the original kit comes with a three wide by three long stud seat. Um, and I was gonna replace this with a proper bucketed go-kart seat but it wouldn't look very cool. Um, but this one is certainly not gonna be big enough for me. It might just about suit my uh, nephew, but there's no side support and there's no back support. So I've started to design something of my own in my CAD package, and I'm gonna take a look at that. And hopefully this seat was gonna look cool and still be functional. So I start with a four by four plate with uh, two hinge brackets. This will all be bolted through to make it nice and secure. And if I bring in the back of the seat here, I've got the other part of the hinge brackets another four by four plate and above that there's going to be a one by four plate and then either side of here I have a couple of two by two plates I could do a two by six but my printer won't print anything that big I could do a couple of two by threes but I think this will be okay once they're glued and bolted through and they're supporting these uh, Technic bricks here which are going to be forming part of the side support. The next thing I did is add some plates to the top of this so that I've got a smoother surface to sit on. I've added a little bit of black piping around the edge and then a grey bit down the centre which I thought might look quite nice. And I do something similar to the back of the seat too. Uh, I'm not sure about this one here, it's going to stick out a bit which might be quite uncomfortable. So I might end up leaving that just at the studs. Um, I couldn't really find a way of hiding them nicely because if I put the hinge around the back of the seat here it brings the whole seat too far forwards. Um, but what I've done on the side parts is instead of using the uh, smooth plates, flat plates, I've used these cheese pieces. So it adds a little bit of uh, bucketing to the sides of the seat. And I've also added one on top of those Technic bricks there. So it gives a nice shape to the seat by using those cheese pieces and uh, will also provide some side support. So that's pretty much it for the seat. Um, and now the only other part is the side support and to see that I'll need to bring in the entire go-kart assembly. So there's the seat in place on the go-kart. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, I've added some extra support here. So these side pieces uh, come down to these Technic bricks, which will be bolted down through the chassis. And basically the side pieces add some more bucketing support to the sides, but they also they support that back piece from falling backwards when you lean on it. And I can mount it in one of several places. It's currently mounted on the front of these two points here. And then there's a couple of Technic bricks that uh, locate into the chassis back here. But I, can, I am able to adjust this slightly by sliding it back and forwards by a couple of studs. So that's it, that's the design. I think it looks pretty good. Um, let's start building. Well, after several hours of printing, I've got a box down here full of giant Lego parts. And this should be most of what I need for my giant Lego seat. Most of this assembly is going to be glued and bolted, but I'm going to do a dry fit first. And uh, for example, I've already bolted this hinge together, uh, two hinges basically, and then by tightening up this bolt through the hinge, it really stiffens up the joint, which helps keep the seat in position. I found a nicer way of putting these together. So what I've done is embedded the nut shaped recess. There's an M6 nut inside the back of here. And I've done that on both sides and that takes an M6 cap bolt through and then picks up the nut in the back side isn't hidden when it uh, goes together. So that's quite nice. I should have printed this a bit lighter. This is really heavy. This is nearly a 700 grams of plastic or something, which is a bit much. I probably should have done the version which has the holes in it. This will all be covered up so it won't, you won't see any of this, but uh, it's useful when you're bolting through to have the um, pilot holes for the eight mil bolt. First of all, I'm gonna put this together, I think. I'll just put 
put some M6 nylox down in the recesses there. It's tightened up nicely. I wish I'd printed some of this lighter. I was trying to make it strong, but um, I feel like I should have been going, might be more conscious about the weight. I need to bolt some of this, otherwise it's not gonna hold itself together. Because at the moment, without the go-kart, I can't put these braces in place to stop the whole seat from going backwards. I wonder if I'm going to fit in it. I just added these two plates on the bottom so that it sets these uh, side pieces in the right position as if it was mounted on the go-kart chassis and I added that plate at the back just to support uh, this top piece which was loose. But otherwise I think that's looking really nice. I like that. I don't know how best to try this out but I figured I'd just uh, kind of leave it on there and then try and perch on it. Ugh. Tell you what, that's pretty good. I mean, you know, it feels like I'm sat on a Lego chair, but I can see a new line in office chairs springing up. I don't want to lean back on it yet. <laughs> it's not quite fixed properly. I've got a bit of bucketing from these side cheese pieces here and some bucketing in the back support. That's pretty good, I like it. Just need the rest of the go-kart now. <laughs> so right now I'm going to fit the seat in this position. It could go here or here, it can come forwards a bit. It can't go back any further at the moment because the hinge, the back of the hinge interferes with the axle. Um, I mean it could go all the way back here but that just looks a bit weird and I need to bring some of the weight forwards. So anyway I'm going to fit it here uh, and to do that I am installing a couple of Technic blocks in here which are just on standard Technic pins and then I'm going to bolt the seat down through these blocks and down through the front of the chassis here to hold it in place. Seems pretty good. I mean, the back still isn't fixed at the top here. I forgot to print a part and I'm gonna to have to glue some of this. Pretty f securely fixed on there. And the back's quite well supported. So um, there's only really one thing left to do and that is to try and sit in it. Well, it's definitely more the size for my nephew. That's not very comfy, <laughs> but that's not surprising. I'm definitely gonna need a longer chassis for me. Unless I want to drive it, oh there we go, I can drive it like an old Sinclair C5, if anyone knows what that is. And the back has just fallen off. There it goes. My legs need to be more out there somewhere. I could make that chassis longer, just take the front out a bit further. I'm pleased with the seat, I mean, it does its job. I feel like I'm supported at the sides and the back, other than the fact this wants to fall apart. Yeah, it's a Lego seat, it's really uncomfortable but it looks cool. That's it for this video, but hopefully next time we'll be out on a test track somewhere. Until then, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Bye.